Every year here in the U.S., cooking is responsible for more than 158,000 home fires and nearly $1 billion in damage. Today, some Green Bay veterans received a new safety device installed in their kitchens, turns their electrical coil stove into a fire safe appliance. In this first alert, Brittany Schmidt shows us how in a few simple steps. In the hands of Lieutenant Nick Craig with the Green Bay Metro Fire Department is a set of smart burners. Morning. How are you doing? And they are going into Mike Bin's apartment here at Veteran Manor in Green Bay. Just like that. All right, so they're really easy to replace. Just take the old burner out. Pop the new burner in. Not only does it give the stove a new look. It makes the stove look brand new. It also makes it safer. Here's how. The burners are designed to shut off when the temperature reaches 662 degrees. Still hot enough to cook food, but well below the ignition temperature for common items seen in cooking fires, like oil, plastic, and fabric. Even paper won't catch fire. We can literally put it directly on the burner. It'll get uh, brownish in color and be crumbly, but it will not burst into flames. No smoke, no flames, no fire. If I move this, it turns brown a little bit, but it does not catch fire. Lieutenant Craig says here's the proof. Since 2012, all units here at Mason Manor have had a smart burner put in. Since 2012, they haven't had a kitchen fire. Prior to that, we were averaging two or three cooking incidences in that specific building every year. It's very nice having those because it, um, it gives the tenants, you know, confidence to cook without having to worry that, you know, things are going to catch on fire. Um, from a manager standpoint, maintenance standpoint, gives us a peace of mind. Thanks to the fire department's benevolent association, these smart burners are going into eight units Thursday. Average starting cost is around $200. Yes, yeah, some of our residents are, you know, maybe in the beginning stages of Alzheimer's or dementia, so this will be perfect for them for their units. The director of operations hopes to do the entire building eventually. We have a $10,000 insurance deductible, so $230 versus $10,000 is huge. It's huge. The National Fire Protection Association reports 53% of cooking fires start on the stovetop. Lieutenant Craig says this device makes it nearly impossible to have a cooking fire on the stove. When do you plan to use it? <laughs> well, not pro probably tonight. <laughs> Make some venison on her. In Green Bay, Brittany Schmidt, Action 2 News.